after all that Thanksgiving turkey, see if I can even climb up here. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, it feels pretty secure. All right, so it is not really even morning right now. It's technically evening. It's uh, it's 11.30 at night. Tomorrow is the first day of Pennsylvania's rifle season and Maryland's rifle season. So we instead of uh, going for white-tailed deer, we kind of mix it up a little bit. We're going to get down to the eastern shore and try to get on some sick of deer. So um, I have my little brother Greg who's never hunted them before. We got Lane and myself. We're going to go into some of the areas we scouted back in August. Um, Lane's actually going to sit the area roughly. He hunted and he, uh, he shot that uh, stag, his first stag. I'm going to go deep into the frag and um, Greg's going to hunt a tree or roughly a tree that uh, Mitch hunted back in archery and saw a couple uh, a couple deer. So our hopes are to get on some uh, some good seek activity this morning. The reason we got up so early is traditionally, you know, Pennsylvania, Maryland, the first days get hammered by people. And our goal is to get kind of in first and on the back side of the public and then hopes to, uh, you know, have deer get pushed to us, you know, in the, as the morning goes goes on. You know, the pressure and, and all that should move the deer back into the, into the public deeper. And that's where we'll be hopefully waiting for the deer. So it might be a slow start this morning. I mean, it's possible we'll be on deer right off the bat, but my anticipation, or my, I assume what's going to happen is, you know, that 9, 10 o'clock time frame is we're going to probably start seeing deer, you know, pour into where we're at. And, you know, this isn't like a white tail. It's going to be thick, you know, it is down there where we, where we are. So, like, where I'm going for sure, I could have deer 50 yards from me and not even see them, even closer than that. Lane's using a 32 caliber um, rifle. My brother Greg has a, do you have a 30-06, Greg? You betcha. He has a 30-06, I have a 270. Um, you know, generally the secret deer are a little smaller than whitetail, but they are tough animals. So um, just because they're a little smaller doesn't mean you have to use like a 22 or anything for them. But uh, you know, 243 would be good for them, anything like that. So we got the right weapons for uh, for doing the job today, and um, our hopes are to get on some good seek action. Yeah, we just watched Derek Derek's video from Bayside Legion. I, I guess that was like last week. Killed that stag. He said it was stuff still bugling. So that's about the best report I've heard. You know, because yeah. I. I haven't been down there since we we did good in archery season, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But mm -hmm. um, you know, and it, I'm assuming it's going to be just like any other kind of uh, highly pressured hunting that's happening next, you know, this time of year. Yeah, that'll be fun, dude. Yeah, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. Yep. All right, Greg, you good? Good. Are you put it in the back? Sorry, right. it gives me a cup holder. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Bogart to this thing. Cup holder. Sure, we got our gear. Yeah. All right. Everybody's got hunting license, yep. guns, guns, bullets. Look at lots of bullets. We need bullets. Welcome to Maryland. All right, so we just got down here. Um, kind of as predicted, there was actually someone already here before us. Those guys are just unloading their uh, boat with a mud motor. So they already started back through this uh, body of water. So we loaded our kayaks up. We got Greg here, laying behind the camera right now. And me, we're gonna put our boats in here and row back. Um, it's about 2.30, 2.45 right now. So we got, what, three hours, four hours before daylight. So we have time. Um, we got Sounds like a good nap. <laughs> yeah, Greg's, Greg's gonna be taking a nap, I believe. So yeah, let's get in here, get in the marsh, and you'll, next time you see us, we'll be probably getting in the trees. So we'll 
see what happens today. Should be a fun day regardless. I've heard three or four bugles so far. One over to where Lane went. He's about, oh, 900 yards from me, according to Onyx. And Greg's about 700 yards, kind of the other direction. And then I heard one bugle back in here where I'm at a couple of times. So I feel pretty good. The only thing is Greg and Lane are set up with some good visibility. They, they, are, they have a lot of lower grass around them. I'm in the middle of the frag. I got my further shot might be 30, 40 yards at that. If it gets light and I can see there's more open um, grass area in here, near here, I might pull down and go move over there. But the idea is I'm set up on the back side. It's some um, public that's accessible from the road. And I anticipate, because it's easy access, the uh, at least quite a few people will be jumping in there to hunt today. My hopes are that they push deer. I mean, I'm probably a half mile from the access points, but, you know, most guys will probably go anywhere from 100 to 300 yards in. And, Hopefully they push deer back this way. Um, I got the wind in my favor. I set up in a good position to cut off, uh, you know, the escape routes. And uh, I mean, the only issue is I'm, you know, I'm like a giant frag patch, so those deer could go within 100 yards. I mean, I wouldn't even see them. I might hear them, but hopefully, uh, you know, a couple come in close. I'd love to kill a good stag with my gun today. I'd love to see Greg and Lane also got opportunities. It'd be a great. One shot, 15 yards. I have about 25 yards there. So, it's not like I have some really good vantage point right now anyway. So, I'm going to slip over there. Try to be as quiet as possible, which is impossible in the frag, but I'll see what I can do. shift to me about 25 30 minutes just to go from the time I start climbing down to the time I'm set up now which is pretty good but 
Stick it down, dude. Yes. I'm sorry to see in the frag, but the crazy part is it. I've already been sitting here for about 10 minutes. I'm glad I made that move. Yes. That deer was like 15 yards. Yeah. Yes. Meat in the freezer, buddy. Yeah. That's my, uh, wife's grandfather's 270. First kill. I think it was the time when we check. Right there's the tree that I was in. Here's the tree I was walking down. Right here. My first rifle kill. That's awesome. I'm so excited. The seeking meat is awesome. This is probably the only day I'll have the right to hunt these things this year. So I'm pretty excited about getting it done right now today. I did good. They're beautiful. What an awesome animal. Just this, this area they live, it's just so cool. Just came in here in the dark, climbed up, didn't like the setup, heard some stuff moving out 150 yards from me, made a shift, climbed up, and within 15, 20 minutes, I have a deer down. That that has worked for me now three or four different hunts where I've made shifts like mid sit because of where I activity was at and it put me on deer not necessarily killing them every time but put me on deer awesome Man, it's pumpkin season. Come on. They ain't gonna kill nothing. 